dog. There we go. So with any luck, this is all working better. All these coal mines are being built now. Oh, okay. What was I building beforehand? A barracks and then something else? No. Oh, this quarry's going to go down soon. He's got like one little bit of stone left. Oh. Why is my camera flashing? Did you see that? Did that show up for you guys? Is it like if I move in certain directions? Just the light? Like try and adjust itself and then it just goes whoosh, like subliminal message or something? Maybe not. Don't know. Um, as soon as this quarry is done for, I'm going to leave that there, but what was I building? I was building an armoury, because I haven't done that yet, which is stupid of me, really, considering they asked me to do that a long time ago. Wow, we have a lot of trees. We need a lot of trees, so I'm not complaining, but are you working okay? You're having to do a nice long walk to get up there, but you're alright? Maybe when I expand this area, I'll build another little one sort of tucked up there. They're making deliveries to that one. House of Fisheries. Okay. Okay. Sniffles, I'm sorry. I could potentially build another fishery just there, which will then go over here. I might do that. If I can. Oh, no. <laughs> Forester. <laughs> can I build that road there? Perfect. It's tempting to build a forester up here actually and get some more wood and stuff. Um, so I might do that. Let's just set up the barracks first. Forester. Woodcutter. Can I do that? Perfect. Lovely. It's nice to get plenty of resources, so we'll keep on top of that. If we're expanding out anyway, it just means that we will then get some more space. Can I build anything on those ones up there? I've got some more space there that I didn't have before so I'm almost tempted to do this and see if I can build anything else up here because you can never have too many iron and coal resources in this game. Good god. Still waiting for that bad boy to be built up there which is annoying. Ah okay because we're waiting for that. Right. I have a pigeon here. What's this? No more stone. We knew that was going to happen, didn't we? So, when something is depleted, there's nothing else you can do with it. The only thing you can do is burn it down and uh, make space for something else to be built. So, bye bye, quarry. Look at him. Off he goes. We can always so snap down that flag, so. If not save for 30 minutes. Thank you. Important to save because it doesn't automatically save for you. I think there is an option where you can set it so it does automatically save every 30 minutes. It's tempting, actually. But then I don't know if it will set up so well with the uh, little spot system. I'm tempted to build another freaking woodcutter here because it's just full. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. They're just they're basically telling me off because... Okay, let me read this out. Last day of the eighth month after coming ashore, there is an open, fertile plain to the north of our new border post. This will provide lots of new opportunities for expanding our settlement, but we need more soldiers to do this. Go to the northern plain and continue expanding the border. Basically, they were telling me off because I wasn't expanding. Ninth day, twelfth day of the ninth month, after advancing further north, we've finally found enough space to construct large buildings and farms. We now intend to search for raw materials in the surrounding mountains. Search for raw materials, secure a supply of food, explore the entire islands. Okay. I'm getting told off for not doing this quick enough after me telling you it was like a slow paced game. So, we can build farms. Um, and we found iron. Lovely. So, farms are pretty straightforward. I'm not going to build a farm here because I'm building a forester here. Even though you have this particular farms are built on these castle stands, like this, you see? But also, once the farm is built, he will need probably that much space around him because he plants seeds and grows crops. So obviously if I have a forester up, he's not going to be able to actually grow anything. So basically, maybe when this is done, I could build one there actually, that could work. But 
if you're building a farm, you have to make sure that there's nothing around it that can obstruct the guy sowing seeds and things like that. And generally farms, I don't know if this is just something that they haven't quite worked out so well, generally farms take, you need a few of them to get enough resources from them. Because what they'll probably say in a minute if I build one is that, okay, now you've got a farm, we need to make a bakery or we need to feed pigs or donkeys or stuff like that. So you basically need one or two farms sometimes per extra like bakery or pig farm or something like that because otherwise that particular building such as the bakery for example isn't going to get enough um, but the bakery is normally the best one I personally like like a pig farm as well because obviously the pig farm will then you can then stop we can go to that eventually but yeah that's what I'm saying is that sometimes if you have farms you need a lot of space and you need maybe one or two to get enough per building if that makes sense yeah but as I say I'm not going to build one here because the forester will be here so um, he will be planting a shed amount of trees up here um, which is fine There's so many donkeys running around my voice is starting to disappear let me have a drink but first, let me take a selfie. This isn't actually posh water, by the way. This is um, tap water that I put in a bottle and put in the fridge, because I like cold water. Posh water. Oh. Okay, so we found some more iron. I can build another one up there. It's tempting because we need Plenty. Oh, can I do it? Yeah. Okay. I can build one there, but for some reason it don't let me. Annoyingly. I'm half tempted, if I can, to just stop the forester for a moment and see if they can clear out some of these trees and build like a barracks going up here somewhere, just for the fun of it. Something different for you guys. Um, but obviously they're asking us to go north because that will then make sure we can complete the first level. I'm a bit of an explorer and I like the idea of exploring um, somewhere else. Oh, it looks like our barracks has been built because this little soldier is on the long trek up to the north. And then we can see what is going on up here. <sighs> the annoying thing about mountains is that if you want to explore them, quite a lot of the time you... Uh, you need to go around the mountains like there's no way of like going over like you can't build a barracks up here you know what I mean I don't know that doesn't make any sense does it so our forester is at work over here planting little shrubs they're pretty you can see already that he's planted a little shrub just here and it's already taken out like a big building that would have been up here Ta-da! oh got some more sea and stuff up here very exciting so obviously what I might do now is send out a scout in this direction. Some more stone. Oh, okay. That's perfect. Um, thank you. So what are we up to? What can we build? Let's go here. Farms. We were on farms, weren't we? Yeah, so that's what I'll do up here then. So this quarry guy is working up here. Um, when there's no more stone, he'll be done for. I'm sure he might even take the long trip up to there if he was desperate to keep his job. But for us, it's important to keep moving because once this stone is gone, we have nothing. So I'm just going to straight away slap a barracks down right there. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> and that scout is just pissed off already. He's just like, fuck that. That's the thing, if you snap off the road when they're already walking on it, just straight away, they just can't be asked. Can't be fucked. Um, mum, mum, mum. Let's build our first farm. Right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and build another one there. 
like that. <laughs>